Hey, this is uh, me again, obviously, and I will be working on uh, part two of Qui-Gon Jinn's history. Um, like I said, Qui-Gon Jinn, uh, I talked about a little bit about his, his infancy and coming up to be a Padawan and end up being a Jedi Knight after he found um, that Xanatos on Talos IV uh, after a, a mission that he um, was on with Fremir, or after, or after Dooku, I couldn't quite understand that, but, so after Dooku, he went on some solo missions, that's what it was, he went on some solo missions by himself, he said he wasn't ready to train any Jedis yet, to become his Padawans, and so he was on a solo mission to, um, Telos IV, and he, d he found the Xanatos, and he brought him back to Coruscant to be trained, and that's when he uh, got Fimor, who uh, he trained to become a knight himself. And then he um, took on Zalatos, who he believed to be a very powerful um, Jedi. You know, could be a chosen one. Kind of sort of like Anakin. So Anakin was kind of his second attempt at this. Um, but before that, we backtrack a little bit. And that fight that Dooku and Qui-Gon kind of got into was about how he had too, com com too much compassion and had too much knowledge of the, the living force, <coughs> which led him on um, side missions uh, for kind of pointless reasons, according to Dooku. But it was really um, good reasons for Qui-Gon to go on these that he believed. And that's how he found, you know, Zalatos and Anakin and other, other others, um, things that helped him become the Jedi he became later. Um, so he, he trained Phil more, Fee more, I couldn't get a lot of information off him, because I really actually went to his page to look at his information, but Jin trained him, helped him become a knight, and sent him on his way, and so I trained Zalatos. Zalatos, um, I guess the best way to put it is he, he used a fell Jedi apprentice, and fell to the dark side as well. And as he went to the dark side, um, I guess Qui-Gon just dealt with it. I did a little bit more research on that. I'll probably talk about that next next audio. And as that happened, he, you know, kind of let him go. And he became a Jedi Master, actually. Jedi Master at age 33. I don't know if that's a good number or not, but I'm pretty sure it's a pretty awesome feat for a Jedi. And then that's kind of the story that we know about began. He was very revered as a Jedi, but he's also kind of known as a, a maverick Jedi, an unconventional conventional one, for having the, a deeply attuned to the living force, and often led him on side missions for weak and useless life forms. Um, but he was still, you know, despite all that, he was regarded as, as many Jedis as a, a um, sharp and sharp-witted and possessing great wisdom. So he was also, you know, good with the lightsaber as well as had a lot of wisdom in his older year, years. And so let's get to the story that we kind of know about through episode one. So, you know, in episode one, he was training Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, and as he was training Obi-Wan Kenobi, they, you know, obviously were going to Naboo. They met um, Queen, Queen Amidala and all that other stuff, Padme. And then they got shot down to Tatooine, basically. And then, you know, the, the story goes, if you haven't seen the movie, you, see, you should go see him. It's not the best regarded uh, episode in the in the series, but it gives you a lot of information that you need to know about the Star Wars as a whole. So, you know, Qui-Gon, Padme, and Obi-Wan Kenobi get trapped on Tatooine, and they find Anakin, and, you know, just, just go watch the movie if you want more of that story. And then in, the, in that same time period, they meet Darth Maul, who Darth Maul is kind of in a, dark, a, a Sith assassin and was sent by uh, who we find out later is Emperor Palpatine to try and kind of just kill um, Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi to kind of hinder their progress. And they get a fight. Jinn gets in a fight with Darth Maul 
at, on Tatooine and um, have a, a short duel. And then they, he jumps on a plane and they take off to Coruscant, which will take Anakin and Padme and uh, Jar Jar Binks to, uh, well, first Anakin to train as a Jedi. And they were pretty hesitant about that at first. And then also with Padme and Jar Jar to, to tell about the Penin battle upon Naboo. Um, with the the the, Feder- the trade federation and the separatist armies and you know Gungans and um, all that fun stuff. If you want to know more information, go ahead and go watch the movie. But that is it for this this uh, particular um, video or audio. I will talk about more about that and the things that happened on Naboo, as well as um, some other stuff that I've. Feels is important to know about Qui-Gon Jinn in my next audio. Um, this is a bit longer than my normal stuff, so I'm going to kind of cut cut it here and talk about it in my part three of the this series. Okay, if you have any questions, concerns, talk to me on my geek, uh, my honest geek opinion, comments below. If you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. I promised you guys if you, you give me five subscribers, I'll actually start showing my face and all that fun stuff. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day.